In our last program, we talked about doing drum programming in a MIDI sequencer, uh, computer-based MIDI sequencer. So now we're going to do it in a drum machine. I'm going to explain a little bit about how a drum machine works and uh, how you actually do drum programs. Uh, basically, a drum machine is a box with a lot of digitally recorded drum sounds in it, uh, as well as percussion sounds. Um, the way all, all drum machines work in a pattern, what's called a pattern mode. So a pattern can be anywhere from one beat to 16 bars, 32 bars, whatever you need. You assemble a lot of patterns into a uh, song uh, after you do your fill the patterns. Uh, I know there's a lot of people out there that are real familiar with this gear and have done a lot of this already, but uh, this is basically for guys that are trying to put together their home studios and have never done this. So hopefully this will give you a little insight on how to go about it. So drum machine is a really important tool in, in home recording, uh, whether you're a songwriter or you've got a band, you're trying to construct stuff because it's just not possible to cut live drums in a, in a home studio. It costs a lot of money to go into a real studio and do it, and uh, this is a lot more relaxed way to do it and makes a lot more sense. Basically, the way we start programming is uh, we pick an empty pattern. Uh, in this case, we know we have a two-bar count-off for the song we're going to work on. First thing we do is set our quantization, which uh, corrects your timing. If you're a little sloppy, this will correct it. In this case, we know we're playing a lot of eighth notes, so we put the quantize to correct eighth notes. So that's the first thing we do, so it's set on eighths. We go up here and make sure our click volume is up and playing quarter notes. And now we'll put our count off in like this. Okay, we get that in, now we wanna check that out. Okay, we've got that. Now we go to another empty pattern and we need a, in this case, for the song we've been working on, we need a two bar section with eighth note hi-hats um, for the guitar player to play against before the actual drums come in. So we're gonna put that in. We go to pattern number two, which is an empty pattern, and we do the same thing. We check our quantization, everything should be the same. Velocity's okay, whoops. Our length needs to be the same, two bars for the two bar intro. So we get that, put that, and we do it like this. Check that. Okay, so now we have pattern number two is our two bar introduction. Now we need a verse pattern. So our verse patterns are gonna be four bars instead of two bars. We check our quantization, that's fine. This one needs to be a four bar pattern. So we go up to our length and set that for 16 beats, which is four bars. Lock that in, go to compose, and we do it like this. Okay, now um, we'll check that, make sure that's okay. Now we need to put a hi-hat in. In this case, uh, it's gonna be an eighth note hi-hat that will overdub against that pattern. Very easy, and again, all these drum machines work basically the same way, so this overdubbing parts is real, real simple. Do it like this. Okay, check that, make sure our hi-hat's okay. Okay, so basically, uh, that's really all there is to it. Uh, and for the rest of the song, you would build your chorus pattern the same way. Uh, any drum fills or anything, you build a pattern with a drum fill in it or crashes or whatever you need. Uh, so when you get done constructing all your patterns, uh, and a little side note here, uh, it's a really good idea to, to, to keep a, a chart of the song. Chart the song out before you do the programming when you get done with the programming, you get done with all your patterns, name the patterns on a chart so you have some sort of point of reference and you don't have to continually scroll around on the display looking for patterns and wondering what they are. So now we go into what's known as the song mode and we're going to assemble our patterns to uh, build a song. So we go into compose song. Now we go pattern number one, which we know is our two bar count off. After that comes pattern number two which is our two bar intro. 
After that, we put pattern number three, which is our verse pattern, and so on. That's basically the general way a drum machine works. And then you just stack your patterns. Uh, if you have drum fills, you make a pattern of a drum fill, put that in where it needs to be. Very simple. You can shuffle patterns around, do whatever you want. So let's check this out and see if uh, we got something that sounds like a song. There's our count off. Introduction. Verse. 